Alola. Welcome to the Wolf Pack. My name is something. My name is Sam Distress Eighty Three. Welcome back to something. Welcome to something I haven't done in a long time. This is another little game, I guess you could say it's a game that's developed by Genius Inc. back in Japan. Now, they always have our name as John, but it's Sand. It's, anyways, for centuries the Mermaid folk have lived deep into the turbulent waves. Their lives were peaceful and happy in their separate world. They did all they could to avoid the surface world where the humans lived, fought, and loved. But just as humans became more and more curious, the merfolk's world fell into jeopardy. They had to swim further. They had to go deeper. They had to avoid the surface at all costs. In a few years, as the few years, one mermaid named Leia found herself washed up at the beach. When a kind farmer discovered her, it was love at first sight. She had a son with him, and it all seemed well, until she was slashed with water in public and her true form was revealed. The humans ruthlessly pursued Leia. Her husband disappointed disappeared. In the mermaid, her flesh was believed to hold the secret to eternal life. She was turned into bubbles. The merfolk discovered completely com dis disappeared completely grieving the loss of Leia. Her son went on to have children and even great-grandchildren. It is said her it is it said his descendants are walking to the earth to this very day, unaware of the power they possess. Even that, that, that every time I look out into the waves, I can't help but wonder, will the mermaids ever return to us? Will this world ever be safe for them? So basically, I'm a mermaid, man. a merman. I, it's weird. Why am I playing this, guys? I don't know. You had to talk with Alice. She's weird. She asked me to play this, okay? Anyways, a splash of water jars me back to reality. I glance around my swimming class like I'm, I'm not going to any planet. Why does that deja vu always hit me at the weirdest times? Mom used to tell me the, to tell me the craziest stories. My classmates all swam laps. Well, everyone except I is Is Isla. Eliza. Isla. Isla. I glanced up at her to catch her eye. She must have some doctor's notes. Some doctor's numerous class today. She gives me a faint smile. God, she has the most beautiful smile. Before I even know it, I'm walking towards her. Oh, hi, Sand. Okay, deep breath, say something cool. How's it up? <laughs> How's it up? <laughs> okay. Okay. I've heard of weird things. I mean, I've heard of what's up. I mean, wait a minute. I've heard of what's down. How's it hanging? Literally. But how's it up? <laughs> my boy. My little sand. Younger self. Mermaid. Merman sand, son. You have a lot to learn before in order to talk to girls. Anyways, wait. How, did I just say, how's it going, or what's up? Oh, God, she's staring. Sorry, must be all the chlorine going to my head. Dad, make it worse. Isabel gives me a brilliant smile and sets her book beside her. The ocean's only a five-minute walk. It must, it, it, it'll be much better to have class there. Yeah. It may, it make a lot more sense, wouldn't it? It'd be like a mini-vacation in the middle of the day. Yes. Isla gives me a polite smile. Was I too enthusiastic? Man, I feel like a massive dork. I'm starting to feel like a dork. You think you feel like a massive dork? Imagine how I feel playing this trash. I mean, I wouldn't say trash. It's just... Interesting stuff. Genius Japanese... Japan? Genius Inc. Japan? Or have you pronounced your name? Company group? I'm sorry. This is good, but also very weird to space start it off. I'm sorry, it's good. Okay. Where was I? Oh yeah. Save the conversation. I can save, can't save this. So, you like the ocean? You could say that. She leans in with her brilliant smile. I like boys who can swim. I can swim. The question is, are you a mermaid? Because I'm a merman in this game, apparently. <laughs> 
God, you know what I could I wish I could play in here right now? Roomies. Roomies was a pop was a really good game I played on my channel at one point. I can feel my heart pounding, my fingers tingling. Is she flirting with me? Yeah, because I used to play Roomies back when I first started this channel. It wasn't immediately when I started. I think I started the whole Let's Play on that game in like 2016 when I first which was when I first started this channel. Then I took a long break. It all screwed up at first, so I started from the very beginning again. And then I got to like the fifth part of the this, the fifth story. I've been in the, to the fifth story. Not very far, but not too low. I didn't make it that far in the fifth story though. Okay, so like I was able to complete the first four stories. Minus some bonus scenes, you know. However, I wasn't able to complete the fifth story. Just a couple of parts of it, you know? And then I did like a few other things for like Oh god, what was the one of these weird games I played? I played like one called My May Girlfriend, My Strange Girlfriend, which I think it was is now known as My Animal Girlfriend. I'll have to look into that. Because I might be doing a let's play on that game. It might be the same exact same game. If if it is I won't be surprised. Japan, I love you all so much. But please, get good content. I don't know. Make one for YouTuber edition, please. And please, do me a favor. Japan Inc., put me in there. I want to be in this game. In this series. Play the game. With a game. Please, just put me in with this. One of your game, Your next projects. Please. <laughs> because... The fact that you made you made one about mermaids, it can tell you. Oh no! Wait a minute. How long has this group been around for? Anyways, is she flirting with me? I like swimming. That's actually too fun. Another thing, I actually enjoy swimming. So like, I don't have a pool, but like whenever I go to like vacate on vacation, I'll sometimes all sometimes I'll go swimming in the pool. Sometimes I'll even just sit in the hot tub. Actually, little story. I was, this was back during Thanksgiving break, so I was up at, this was also back when I was in the, at, back at the creek, remember that, for Thanksgiving, I was, um, how do I describe it, I was, it was on the second day there, our second day there, uh, I was basically, okay, so you know how there's those people that, you know, basically, you know, like, you know how most places have, like, a, a not don't have a pool, but at least have, like, a hot tub? Okay, so I was at one of those, those cabins, houses. We even had, like, a pool table and a foosball. Anyways, I was in the, I was in the tub one day, this day, with my, one of my cousins, and I think he's, this guy's, this other guy's my uncle? No, I could be wrong. Anyway, or my godfather, I don't know. And he, Anyways, we were we were just relaxing. This, however, the second the second someone else, the, a third person entered our pool into the tub of us, water started getting out everywhere. I mean, it even left the tub. However, this. Anyways, the point, the main point of the story is that in the end, I swear, I feel like someone's watching me. I don't know why. But anyways, I was always in the tub, the hot tub, a couple seconds later, I'm just chilling, getting comfortable, relaxing, all of a sudden, one mistake, and boom, my uncle, I think this guy's my uncle, okay, sorry if I can get your, if you get your title wrong, uh, he spilled beer in the hot tub, so basically, I started to smell like beer, the part, the amount of it that was in the tub, water, smelled, no, smelled like beer for a while, uh, I didn't wash it off, though, till later at night, because, you know, I had some work to do. Not for college, not for school, because, you know, I'm a high school graduate, and I'm kind of free, but not really, but you know what I mean. So, yeah, that's the story. Anyways, that's good to hear. I'll keep that in mind. I, uh, hope you do. I clear my throat. Am I bombing? I hope you're not bombing. Also, what's wrong with my fucking hair? I feel like I'm going bald. What the fuck? Okay, there's my hair. That's good. I thought I was going bald for a second. Anyways, that'd be cool, I mean. 
Yep, that's it. Prepare the tombstone. I'm about to die from embarrassment. For embar- of embarrassment. <laughs> Isla gives me my shoulder a comforting touch. You're sweet, Saint. I like that about you. She seriously has to be the kindest girl I've ever met. I could say the same about you, Isla. Lisla or something. I don't know how to start her name. I'm sorry. I'll have to look it up. A lot of people in this school aren't nice, but you showed up and... Well, there you are! Thank you so much. I try to be. A wall of signs crashes over us. Is Lisla picks up her book. I can save the conversation. What book are you reading? I mean, I'd like to take you on. I'd love to take you on a date. I'm sorry. A date? A date? You know, two people, dinner, a movie. Why is she just smiling at me? All right, abort, abort. We don't have to if you don't want. That's totally cool too. I just figured you're new and might want some company. That's so nice of you. I just don't date. Uh, <laughs> she stops herself. You don't date what? I just don't date. It's not you. You're totally great. It's not you. It's me speech. This isn't good. Okay, stay cool. She's not obligated to date you. Take the rejection with dignity. Change the topic. It's totally fine. I get it. I go right back to the pool. It's because you know I, I can't swim, huh? What a beautiful sound. It's not that you can't swim. Is it, is it that I look like a dying fish while I'm swimming? <laughs> well, dying fish float, so no. I can't help but laugh. I'll work on that. I stare at the, the, moon, the ocean. Moonlight reflects off them. I couldn't stop looking at the... Uh, looking at East Lisa. Lisa. Isla, Isla, Isla. For the rest of the class. I pull off my shirt and submerge into the waves. If I can teach myself to swim well by tomorrow, maybe she'll look back at me. The water is freezing to the touch. I go back. I, I grow, I'll go back a yelp of shock. I start kicking the one arm, then the other, the other. Am I actually doing it? Suddenly, I toss me aside. I gasp for air as I tend as I as I'm tossed underwater, over and over again. What is this? Where is the surface? Which way is up? My limbs try. I feel. I flail my limbs desperately trying to rise. The waves are unfreezingly, for, are freezingly unforgiving. My lungs start to scream out of the air. Am I? Am I going to die down here? The burning sensation flares my chest. My head starts to spin. Ever so slightly, I, I start to get very, very tired. Everything is black. Something t warm touches me. A rush of cold, cool air collides with my skin. I try to fo open my eyes to focus, but the only thing I can do is struggle for breath. My body starts to, to collapse in sand. Your Highness, this is absolutely absurd. Your Highness, what am I dreaming? What, Delta? I was supposed to let the idiot down. <gasps> was that Isla's voice? Wait, was that Isla call me an idiot? <gasps> How dare you! Now I'm now I know what I'm dreaming. Isla is the nicest person I know. I drop in my eyes, but my body is acting aching. Drifting in, in and out of consciousness, I lay to conserve my energy, try to, trying to suck in shaky breaths. Guys, God, can we can can we stop fighting? Your Highness, you can't be acting recklessly like this. First you want me to be nice to them, now you want me to let them drown? I'm just saying, you're compromising us. You're compromising the mission. We all know this mission was screwed up, Delta. I, I'm enjoying it. I'll throw in for you, Pearl. But you aren't the one who has to interact with them every day. You get to sit on the couch and eat pad high. I think it's pronounced pad thai. Thai. I wouldn't know. I've never gotten to eat it. Your Highness, can we deal with the situation at hand? Let me poke my rib cage. Is it alive? God, this, these people are exhausting. They hit one little rib curtain and it's bye bye to their lungs. They're helpless, honestly. <gasps> hey! There's no way that's Isla. I never poke at my ribcage. I start to notice the roar of the wave just behind me. How can I feel all this if I'm dreaming? <laughs> I'm sorry, is that a fucking jellyfish on her? Wait, is she a fucking jellyfish girl? <laughs> what do we do with it? Um, what is happening? I must be taking some serious shit. I must be on something if I'm seeing this. <laughs> 
Okay, we have to we leave it alone and go right home. Relax, Delta. Just let's make sure he's not dead. I have wiped my chest. I can't even flinch. Hey, kid, are you dead? I open my mouth to try and speak. Nothing comes out but a gurgle. Does it not speak our language? It does. There's probably just water in its lungs. What language? What is all these people? I try to speak again, and the gurgle I manage. Isla? A gasp from for a former word. You told them your actual name? It's not gonna do any harm, Delta. Your Highness, we agreed on Sapphire. It's a dumb name, Delta. Guys, he's like, we should just... I'm with Pearl. Your Highness, we should leave and call the authorities. We can't keep risk taking risks like this. Will you two just calm down? To calm down for two seconds about the mission? I want to get him awake first and make sure he's actually alive. Your Highness, it's my job to protect you. Uh, we, uh... We don't fight, need to fight guys. We can just be happy. Delta, calm down. Pearl, grow up. Alright, I've had enough of this. A hand slaps me across the face. I bolt upright, my eyes shoot open. But what's in front of me makes no sense. Isla blinks black at me with a smug grin and tugging on her lips. Besides, her sit to... Things. They aren't human. What What the actual hell? A burning sensation surges from my body. I lean to the side and vomit water. He's saved! Hallelujah! Isla, let's put an end to this. Relax, give me a minute. You're... You... I'm dreaming. I must be dreaming. The poor thing looks, looks scared. This isn't real. Holy shit, my throat hurts. That's what the woman said. Pearl, that's not the joke. But on the television, I... Your Highness. Please, for the love of the kingdom, put an end to this. Let's start with all this kingdom talk. And the tail and the jellyfish head. <laughs> Pearl seems to She touches the jellyfish on top of her head. Jellyfish head? That's enough fun, Isla. Call me my first name now? What a rush. I'm just giving him a second to recover. It's more fun that way. Isla, what's going on? For some reason, you decided to hop in shark-infested freezing water. And on top of that, you got yourself stuck in rip current. Why is she being so mean? I glance at Pearl and Delta. That looks like she wants to murder someone. She really does. So you... Uh, save me? I'm not a total monster. Alright, Isla. Let's get rid of this. Get rid of what? Fine, fine. Also, this isn't going to hurt. She didn't say, Stop. What are you doing? Isla takes my hand and puts, pulls me towards her. God, Sand. Just sit still. I bolt to my feet. Get away from me. Every fiber of my being tells me to run. So I do. I bolt over to Sand. My legs are like, like rubber. Damn it, Sand! I run as fast as I can. My buns burning. Star stars twinkle and dance with my vision. Who is Isla? What? Where are those things with her? I have to get away. I have to get somewhere safe. Running sucks. Delta, help. He's just scared, Isla. Stop chasing him. Sand, if you don't stop, I'm going to have to tackle you. I run even faster. Normally, that'd be great, but now, not so much. The opposite, actually. I can't hear Isla breathing behind me. Breathing hurts. Suddenly... Okay, <laughs> they just make her catch up to you. Like, <laughs> every Isla's wrapped her hands around me. She hops on my back. Five flail, trying to knock her off. Just hold still, you stupid. Why are you attacking me? I shake her mercilessly. She flops around in the air, digging her nails into my neck. Because you won't listen to me. Stop hurting the highness. I'm not hurting her. I start to try and run, but to try and knock Isla off. She grinds me up, my neck up like a wildcat. She's hurting me. Please, just let me go. I'm confused. I just need... I'll explain everything to you if you stop. I thrash, just like as Isla digs her knee into my back. We both tumble into the waves. Freezing us, water rushes over us. Isla screams. I feel her slipping away with the waves. I wrap my hand around her waist, saving her from the tide. We sit in the water into the park. I feel her body moving with every breath. Then, the flash. I look down to see... Isla has a... Isla has a tail? Isla has a tail. Okay. As if this couldn't get any more, couldn't get more annoying. Your Highness, are you all right? Oh boy, that's not good. Is Isla a mermaid? I wet my eyes. <laughs> I'm officially going insane. I'm going insane. I'm officially going insane. She blinks at me. She's stunning, but holy crap, what is she? 
Isla, Teo. A wordsmith, this one. What the hell are you doing? I can't handle this. I'm freaking out. Is this purgatory? Purgatory? Did I actually die? You're giving him an ex existential crisis. Have you had enough fun now? Clear I am a mermaid, and clear you're still an idiot. I tried to form a sentence. I still have to... I have to be articulate. Just ask her how she's a mermaid. Why are you so mean? Okay, not what I meant to say. He still looks at the smallest life I've ever heard from her. I'm not undercover saying I just don't... I don't have to suck up to you all. Hey, Sala, stop screaming around. All right, all right. This has been quite some adventure. It's a shame you won't remember. Isla leans in towards me again. I shove her away and back into the waves. Isla, I promise I won't tell anyone you're a... Uh, uh, mermaid? Yeah, that. My lips are sealed. I won't sell you to a lab or the government or... Delta's eyes bore into my skull. Shut up, shut up. Why did I even say that? Yeah, I'm sure you won't. Isla lunges for me. I jump back further, in, further along the beach. Isla tries to start at me, but she's dragging her body... <laughs> I'm mean, I don't care. She's having trouble living on the sand. This could be my ticket out of here. I won't tell anyone, really. I start rushing down the beach. You really could get us killed, sir. Really? I may eat Pearl's eyes. They have a sparkle in them. Happiness and innocence. I break away. It feels like my heart's cracking. I promise to save you to save with me. Just don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Yes, I laughs again. Kill you? What do you think we are, animals? We have other options. Just come over here. We'll fix this. I shake my head. I start to run down the beach. Away from them. Sand, don't you dare run away from me. I'm going to skip town. If they're going to try and kill me. What, are you still trying to kill me? I shot at the thought. Do I even know the real Isla? A scream erupts from behind me. I squint. Help, Sand, someone's got me. Isla's been thrust, dragged into the waves. My heart starts to pound into my chest. Holy crap. A shark has her? I answered it. I have to save her. I sprint back towards her. I grab her wrists as she tugs further and further away. Thank you, thank you. Please, I can't hold on much longer. She blinks up at me. Her beautiful eye is catching the moonlight. I can never let anything happen to her. Even she is a crazy fish lady. Don't worry, I've got you. Just hold on tight. Oh, I'm never letting go. Oh. Oh, come on! You let me fell for that? A grin tugs on Lisa's lips. Wait. Why is she smiling? She shoves me, shoves me backwards. She lands on top of me and hovers over my face. She gr her grin glows on me. Did you trick me? I turn to see Pure Pearl and Delta emerge from the waves. If you have to answer, have to ask. The answer is probably yes. Are you going to kill me? Isla laughs and runs over her, runs her hand over my hair. No, you won't feel a thing. My heart pounds. She's close to me. She's still beautiful. Are you a siren? Isla's smile fades. She glares at me annoyed. First off, rude. Do it, Isla. So long, Sand. Thanks for being a pain. Isla loses her lips towards mine. I squirm my heart pounding for a million different reasons. Her lips collide with mine for a moment. I don't fight it. I feel the salt on her slip, soft lips. I sigh in relief as I push mine against hers. Then suddenly, a wave of dizziness overcomes me. I overcome my eyes to look at Isla, who hovers over me, still looking annoyed. The dizziness crashes across my body. Crippling me. Abruptly. Everything is black. Okay. Well, you know what? That's it for this episode. Hold on. Okay, that's it for this episode. Thank you all so much for watching. Bye, everyone.